Let's take a quick look at sharing files and folders in OneDrive as well as adjusting sharing permissions. So here I am in my OneDrive. And again, from my ECSD, you can get to your OneDrive by simply clicking on the waffle and selecting OneDrive. I've selected a folder that I wish to share with other members of my team. I can go ahead when I click on the check mark here, I can go ahead and click on the little share icon to the right, or I can come up to the toolbar along the top and click share here. Either way, the button does the same thing. So notice when I click share, it defaults to only the people you specify who have the link can view. I can change this by clicking on that box and I can select anyone with the link, people in Edmonton Catholic School District with the link, people with existing access, or leave it at specific people. But notice that I must select that box in order to change the status from view only to allow editing. So again, I check the allow editing box and I'm going to go ahead and say specific people and I'll click apply. Now I can go ahead and enter the names of individuals who I wish to share this folder with. I can add an optional message that they will see in their email and I can simply click send. Now remember that because we clicked on this box here, we changed the privileges from view only to can edit. Let's just click apply again and we'll hit send. This link to this folder has now been sent to their Outlook inbox. They will access this shared folder by coming to their OneDrive and clicking on shared to view what has been shared with them. Now, did you know that you can change permissions on a folder? So for example, you can change a shared folder from edit to view only. This is really handy if you are saving content on SharePoint and you want to make sure that no one else has edit privileges. What you would do is you would select the folder or you can do this with a specific file. You can select the file and you can click the three dots here for show actions. Down at the very bottom, click on details. In details, you will be able to see a little preview of the document but you'll also be able to see who has access. Click on Manage Access. So I see that I'm the owner and I see that Dane and John can edit. I can simply change their privileges by clicking on the drop down arrow to change to view only, or I can completely stop sharing this one particular document with them. I will change their access to view only. There's no save button. I just simply click close. Now, something to remember, because I did this for a specific file within the folder, the folder is still shared with them. They still have edit privileges to the folder as well as the other two files within the folder. They no longer have edit access to this particular file within the folder. And again, you can change the privileges for one specific file like I just demonstrated, or you can change the privileges for an entire folder and its contents following the same steps that we just took.